Well, it is 7 hours and 18 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 21st, uh, 2020, and we are opening the vlog for for today, for Wednesday. Uh, just finished some meditation, some gaming. I'm still going to be going back to the meditation in a few minutes. But I thought I'd, but while it was on my mind, sort of mulling it over my mind, still thinking about it. Uh, I'd open up the vlog. Uh, and again, this is how YouTube stroll kind of leaks into my life. Uh, the research life. And it has to do with Evie Rich from uh, It's Our Life. And she was describing a, an encounter that, she's, that I'm assuming is still going on that she's been having. She doesn't describe it what time of night it was, but I'm assuming that it was probably between between three and four o'clock in the morning, some you know, when she was dead asleep. Uh something wakes her up and um she hears footsteps footsteps coming down the hall and now she's hearing a conversation between two women going on in the hall, but nobody's up at that particular point in time. So the question is, well what's happening? She tried to record it and give us an example of what was going on. But what happens is, 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 is as, as is typical, there's a tendency to sort of narrate with the vlogs. And unfortunately, that can kind of kill your ability to record. Because as I'm speaking now, the, vo the, the, the microphone is... The volume of the microphone is automatically adjusted to my voice. Now, if I sit and don't talk for a bit, you'll be able to hear the fan louder in the background and the clock ticking. Leaving this for a full minute, the system adjusts the gain of the microphone. That's, that's the power of the microphone. So it can hear out as far as it can. You can hear everything from around the room. <clears throat> now the problem is, what, what AV has to do is, is, is record a segment of, you know, b about a half hour before you know, she record when it happens so that she knows what time it occurs at. If it occurs at a consistent time, then all you have to do is a half hour before a half hour before it occurs, uh, set your phone to record uh, the the events going on and make sure you stay quiet until the event ends. Then what you have to do is you have to isolate that uh, clip, that section of the sound, and amplify it. Like my uh, app on here that uh, does a lot of the editing. I can amplify the sound close to 200%, and then with headphones I can go in and sort of see if I can hear anything. And then th this is this is what you do is you, you continue the ampl amplification uh, until you hear something, or if, if you don't hear anything, you know. Uh, typically, after the first amplification, even if not even without the first amplica amplica amplification, you can hear something. Then you can try and do s something more to sort of in enhance that sound. There are a number of sound sound applications that you can get that you can use to edit the sound to sort of enhance what was going on in the segment that you see where, where you hear the uh, the uh, events. And these are the techniques of capturing the events. Uh, from what I've seen, most of these, and this includes uh, the uh, these so-called explorers, uh, 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 Sam and Colby, uh, they don't... Uh, they don't uh, 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 leave enough time, and as often, particularly with a lot of these ghost stories, there's a lot of of mood music. There's there's stuff in the background that interferes with 
trying to hear what's going on. Observation isn't necessarily exciting. It takes a long time to get what you're after. And even after, well, through the first few times, again, it's kind of like fishing. You might get something, but you may not get something. You know, if one method doesn't work, you go try another method of recording. You know, there are a number of methods of recording that you can sort of try out to sort of see what's going on. And then, if you're convinced that this is an, this is actually an event, and you, you do actually capture something, then you have to look into the history of the house and the his, the history of the area. You know, what was the was it, there something in the house before? Because you already bought it, it was already built. Someone had lived in it before. Was there something going on there? Uh, was there something maybe in the previous owner? Uh, this is where you have where you go into the history of the area, the history of the house, to refer to see if there's any type of information that can sort of help you out and sort of determine to determine what's going on. There are also other audio phenomena where sound is projected from not necessarily inside your house, but from outside your house. Is it a conversation that two neighbors are having? Maybe there are people up who are up at that hours uh, having a discussion, and, and it just so happens the sound projects into your particular into your room. And then this is kind of the thing. And if you do find out that, that this is a haunting or whatever you want to call it, because my area is is uh, uh, metaphysics, is quantum physics, and metaphysics becomes an extension of quantum. Uh, Metaphysics becomes an extension of quantum physics. Uh, maybe it's not directed at you, but maybe the, the, the events that are connected to somebody else. Go into your family history. Ask about your family history. And in other words, what you have to do is you have to start looking down a lot of different avenues to start piecing together, well, is there something here? Is there something there? And that's how you begin to put together a half decent uh, observation as to what's going on. And it's going to take some time. It could take you a couple of months or even years. But I'd love to hear what the progress is. Uh, uh, if you get this at all, if you see this at all, or. Nine hours and 52 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 21st. And we have... Oops. I should have done this earlier. We have an unpackaging video. Uh, a package came from Amazon. I'm, I'm uh, hoping what it, I think it is. We'll see. Let's open a package from Amazon. Here is our Amazon si uh, symbol there. So we know it's Amazon. And they're, they're, I got two of them. It's the same thing. These are beach towels. I want to see how the that's what they are. This is the beach towel here. I'll I'll take it out of its bag so you can see without the plastic bag. Here it is. Here, this is what I got. This is a micro mi, micro fiber travel uh, a, a towel beach towel. I've tried microfiber before. I really do like it. It's not as thick as other towels, but we'll see how it ends up working out. I just want to see the size. Well, it's nice. It feels very, it feels very nice. This is its width. With its, this is the width. Okay, and then and, and the length is going to be very good too. So that this is exactly what I've wanted. Uh, this goes. I, I had ordered a bathtub, uh, portable bathtub. It, it collapses and it can be taken down. I also ordered uh, a pump that goes with it, so I can I can fill and empty the bathtub. And I have a heater, so I can heat the bathtub. 
I can heat the the water in the bath oven. It fits it fits very nicely back into its bag. Of course, I haven't used it yet. I haven't used it yet, so it's fitting back into its bag very nicely. So I guess after the first use, we'll see how it folds back up. We'll see how warm it stays in terms of keeping yourself warm after you get out of the bath. So. Uh, Yeah, back in its bag again. Back in its bag again. We'll kind of have to see how this ends up working out. So yay for that. I wasn't expecting this until Monday, but it came in today. So a lot of that, a lot of times, the uh, the the Amazon packages come in early, and that's what it now it came in just about a half hour ago, around uh, nine thirty. So, but I was watching some film or doing some technical work on. Uh, the video setup over here. There are still some issues on here. The back room is fine. The media room is fine. That's working out okay. Uh, it's just here. Some of the browsers, what it does, it confuses the TV on the HDMI port. And so when it sh switches modes, uh, like let's, let's say playing a lower video, like an SD video, after coming out and going, trying to go back into its regular modes, it actually turns off the TV. So you have to turn the TV back on again and continue on from where you are. Uh, the one, the browser I just installed now doesn't do that. It works, it works fine. I have to test out some other browsers as well. In other words, some browsers have limps, uh, audio synchronization, audio synchronization issues. Uh, this one doesn't. The, the, one of the other ones that I tried. One called Lightning from Mozilla. It has, uh, it still has a synchronization issue. It doesn't have synchronization issue, but it does have uh, the uh, HDMI mode uh, switch issues. So we'll see what ends up happening. This seems to be a fix right now. In November, I'll be getting a new setup, uh, possibly a larger screen, and a better a better a better um, Android box. So we'll see what happens then. It's hard to believe it's already seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna do it to check what day it is. Uh, it is the twenty second of October? Yeah, it's seven hours into the twenty second day of October. And it just seems like a, a, a little while ago I was sort of in the middle of everything doing the last uh, segment of the vlog. And this is the uh, ending segment. You open the vlog, you end the vlog. Sometimes you open, you only have two two segments, so you open the vlog and then you end the vlog. Other times there's uh, you open the vlog and then there's a couple segments. Like we had the delivery today. I think it was today. And then you, you have uh, the ending segment. So, or sometimes you have more. <laughs> sometimes you'll have more. You'll have more than uh, uh, than three segments. But today, it's, again, it's it's not going to be uh, that much. It's going to just I think three segments. And the thing is, is it, it it still amazes me how how after doing a bit of research and this is I've been doing some. Uh, Deep, deep dive research since about uh, I think I think three four o'clock in the morning. Uh, so that's about three four hours worth of deep dive research, and you don't notice where the time goes. It it it, it seems like it was only like oh it's five minutes, but it's not five minutes. It's three four hours, and so when you come out of it, it's it's kind of well, well where am I? What time is it? What day is it? And the senses of of you will call your spatial and time awareness, uh, uh, awareness is, is God. Oh. And I think as I've settled, in, also settled into the comfort of the YouTube stroll, which is finally finished, and all its subpaths. So 
So I, I ended up uh, at the end today uh, at uh, family uh, at, at uh, 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 eight passengers. They're on a sub path. Uh, but uh, then I went up to, went over to a couple other different families as well. Uh, before then. And on the Yowie logs, this is where I typically get my uh, uh, whole issue of You Are Worth It from. They were talking about some of their difficulties and how they needed to sort of push through regardless of how they were feeling. And this is what I've been talking about. It, it, it's one thing to compliment something, somebody else about uh, You Are Worth It. Help them out. Say, well, don't worry about it. You're worth, doing, you're, you're worth the, the trouble. And it's another thing to start doing this to yourself. Because if you do things simply because of your self worth, at some point in time, when you're not, when you're not, when you're not sort of feeling so good, there's a tendency to quit. But in many cases, in order to get to the good part, you need to persevere. And, and, and the perseverance is sorry, no refunds, whether whether you think I'm worth it or not. And there are times where people will get angry with you, and you say, "Well, you're not worth it." And even in those times, you'll need to persevere. You'll need to push yourself through and sort of say, well, it doesn't matter whether people people think I'm worth it or not. No refunds. I'm going forward regardless of what anyone else thinks about me. And this is, this is the thing. is that we, we have a tendency to sort of judge or, or, or determine what our actions are going to be by somebody else's approval. And we don't need other people's approval to do to, to, uh, what we think is necessary. No, it doesn't necessarily mean we're always correct. It also doesn't mean whether we're correct or not correct. That there aren't going to be consequences. Correctness in terms of your actions does not determine necessarily whether the consequences of an action or even no action at all is going to be positive or negative. It's just going to, you know, they're always, well, this is why I put up in terms of, we talk about struggles. I put up the icon of Christ on the cross. Well, Christ, being crucified wasn't easy. That was certainly a struggle. And yet he, and this is why he's called, you know, the life giver, uh, and the, the life giving cross of Christ, is because he took an instrument of death and, and, and made it a sort of a pass through point that death is simply a doorway to the next life. And people don't understand that. It's hard for people to understand this. So, but the thing is, struggles are worth it. There are things that are worth struggling for. And the struggles aren't going to be easy. They're going to be very, very, in many cases, very, very difficult. Anyways, I said, it's about perseverance. It's not about whether you're worth it or not. So, no refunds. <laughs>